Ugh. Hey guys, but wait, why didn't I enter open my campaign thing yet? I'm an idiot. Uh, whatever. Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to Dark the Dungeon. Um, this may not be the most focused recording ever because I'm working off of six hours sleep because I basically accidentally stayed up until two a.m. So yeah, and I always wake up at eight because of my alarm clock. And I'm out of coffee, so I need to go get more of that. So yeah, I'm pretty tired actually, but there's really no better time for me to record than right now because it's the quietest. You've heard it already. So uh, let's go kill the necromancer. Let's bring these level three whelps up. Should I use this party? Um, maybe. I kind of don't want to use one of these, uh, occultists. You know what, I'll bring the, uh, level 2 flagellant with me. I'll take the higher level of the guys. And this jester is not level 4 in skills. What, is he, what skills does he have equipped? The normal ones, okay. I thought I was running him as like a frontline jester at one point, so I was considering. I was thinking that he would have different skills. Okay, you have shit skills equipped, but that doesn't matter. Do you need a guard? Probably not, actually. Regarding the fact that we have a flagellant in our midst. Okay, so yes, you get to see thrilling gameplay. It's called pre-mission preparation. And it basically involves me just equipping a bunch of trinkets. Thrilling gameplay, this is why I cut all this out, but, and I'm not like Bear Taffy. Well, to be fair, Bear Taffy streams a lot, so that makes an exception. So of course, ruins. It's come to our family. I wanna get the uh, man-at-arms up in resolve level so we can get him to level 6 so we can do do not not do go go into the darkest dungeon so I had two oh yeah I do have two bleed amulets I just couldn't see that one for some reason and occultist you have nothing but the chirurgeon's charm give him some scouting chance too I mean what could possibly go wrong I think that the the guy is eldritch isn't he Don't quite recall. Oh uh, yeah, that seems like a good setup. Let's check the camping skills. That's not terrible. It's okay. It's good. It's okay. Passable, I'd say. <clears throat> but yes, I'm really tired. Okay, not that tired. Hello, caretaker and your stupid face of not trading. Okay, 10. Uh, that should be fine. I'll listen to the ancestors' quotes while I do stuff. I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. What a nice guy. <clears throat> a devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so he's up here. I may very well just explore around a bit because I mean why not? Our party's pretty well prepared for this. Get some free medicinal herbs from the jester, that's good. Okay, and we immediately get Bone Commander. This party isn't the best for here because we have two bleed-based heroes. In fact, I don't even know what I was thinking bringing this party out here. Hmm. The damage will crush deals. It's a pretty good amount, actually. 
Velk Minefield battle, ba battle Ballad. And this has a really high crit chance. 20%, nice. Dodge the Tempting Goblet. Hey, how does he have 33 evasion? Okay, that did nothing. He just, he, I thought he just had 33 right there. I mean, oh, it must have been the Jester. And he glitched out or something like that. Okay. Uh, five. I need to heal the Flagellant, of course, so... Come on, Occultist. Put your back into it. You see, the Flagellant just crit healed himself. Why can't you crit? Why can't you hit? Why can't you not get splashed by wine? And Retribution will deal most likely not enough damage. It's worth a shot. Hey, there we go. We can capitalize on ground pound if it happens. So the downside of this party is we have no stun units, which could be bad. I mean, technically this party doesn't really need stuns. We're fighting the Necromancer, we're not fighting like the freaking Prophet. I say that when I know very well that the Prophet cannot be stunned. Nice. Didn't do anything. Excellent. At least he crit the flagellant and not um, the jester again. Remove stress. Remove kebab. We're still technically running two healers, if you count the flagellant as a healer. You know what, I don't need the flagellant to be in slot 1, specifically. He's fine wherever he is. Hey look, enemies that can bleed- oh, come on. <clears throat> that is not nice. Can't you pull the flagellant, please? That would be great. Okay, so. I've got to move you back. More goblets. And the one camping seal the flagellant doesn't have is his 50 stress heal. I was like, oh, don't worry, he doesn't need that. At least Rapturous is not the worst thing to have. <coughs> it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I mean, it's not good, but it's not terrible. That's what I wanted to say. Bump in the night. Boring. Splash your blood piss wine on me. I'll show you. I'll show you very much. I can show you the world. <laughs> Actually does 3 to 6 damage, it's pretty good. Oh, I thought he just said soothed, sedated. I'm gonna try using Bellow here. It may deal enough damage. It's 1 to 2. <coughs> AKA 1. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I know it has like a huge amount of uh, damage reduction on it, but that's not what I was expecting. <coughs> okay. Kill you with a move that actually has accuracy. Why are you... Oh yeah, stupid debuff. Take the shit. Get out of here. Okay. Secret room? Nope. No secret room. I can tell because it would have scouted two rooms if it were. Oh, hang on. I'm really loud, aren't I? Shit. Oops. Sorry about that. I forgot the fact that I turned my microphone up to double volume because I was doing something else. Yeah, sorry. <coughs> oh, jeez, that must have been terrible. 
Uh, 12 crests, do we need it? We need it more than one portrait, because we already we, we only really need to upgrade the sanitarium, and we need busts for that. So basically, it, it's busts or bust. Hey, look, it's the uh, swine skyver. <coughs> okay, not the swine skyver. It's the the what's the name? <coughs> the courtesan. No, not the courtesan. The what, what's the name of him again? <coughs> the stupid one that uses skewering repartee. The Esquire, yeah, that one. <coughs> you know what, I'm surprised this enemy doesn't have protection. I mean, he has more... armor than he does. He has 25%. <coughs> Ugh, Jesus. Kind of laying off on the healing for now because we don't really need it. I mean, we're all at not that high health, but we have redeem if we need it. Kind of really hoping that that move would crit. Okay, let's get some heals in. It's an eight. Okay. I've seen worse. Graveyard Slash, that's okay. It's actually pretty good because it lets us redeem. Okay, another one down. Redeem on the Man at Arms. Perfect. And let's heal up the loss of our health. 17. Just punch him in the face. That wasn't a punch, that was a mace. It was a mace to the face. I even really need this many keys. You know what, I kind of need everything I have. But the keys are the least important of them. I mean, what are the odds I'm going to find a secret room after this fight? The answer is like 100%. Knowing my luck. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna use Bellow because we don't need to battle Ballad because we have Bleed availability. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, it's just that it's used in a different way. Okay, that guy, that guy is dead. This guy's toast. Reduce the damage of the point blank shot. Oh, no, okay. Perfectly understandable. I mean, just because he has 130 debuff, for his debuff chance doesn't mean that. This guy should be unable to resist it when he has a 5% chance to resist it. <coughs> yep, RNG in this game is rigged and we all know it. Rampart. Yeah, let's just slam him. Recover some stress from the freaking point blank shot that he suffered. Eight of eight speed. Wow. <laughs> nice. Over that stress amount, that should stress heal him. Oh, don't you think? Maybe you don't. I don't know. What was that sound? He just went. Ugh. Oh, that's a secret room scout, isn't it? Oh no, it's not big enough. Mm, let's camp after this fight. March, fiends. I know you didn't say fiends, but... He's the flagellant, he's not a nice person. <clears throat> if he was a nice person, he'd focus in some wound treatment for his, for his allies. Three, three. If I hit you and then use an abyssal artillery, we should probably get some kills. <clears throat> Not bad. Not the best because this guy's gonna stay alive for one more turn. It's okay, we have the face punch available. As long as he doesn't uppercut slice the flagellant back, which he didn't, which is good. 
We will redeem here. Heal 19 HP. I still have no idea how that actually heal anything. What's the debuff we suffer? Everyone's got negative... No, these two have negative dodge, these guys have negative bleed resist. Yeah, that should kill. Always find it wasteful when that happens, though. I need this guy to be level 6 or 5 at least, so he can be part of the wall. I don't even know what I'm going to title this episode. In fact, I just don't, I don't want to name it something about the Necromancer, because honestly, the Necromancer is not even worth... He's not even worth the title. The wall's gonna fall. There we go. I told you so. Takari kills trespassers. We don't need all this food. We've gotten zero hunger proc so far. And guess what? A bit of extra torchlight. <sighs> okay, next room. Oh yeah, I said I was going to camp there. Well, whatever. I know that's an effective waste of 500 gold. But it's an effective extra heal on the flagell- no, not the flagell, the occultist. And probably even more, actually, after this fight. There's that shuffle move that no one ever sees it shuffle. I like how Flurry of Claws is just noted as a damage dealing attack. I mean, it's because no one ever sees the stupid move skill chance. Like, how would you know? Unfortunately for our Jester, they're taking up slots 2 and 3, so I can't bleed them. Um, let's just get a retribution on maybe. I don't use the skill nearly enough. Probably because it isn't really that good. I mean, it still requires you to be hit. Granted, a good amount of dodge can can circumvent this problem, but uh, it's kind of not consistent enough for my liking. Bleed? No. I bet his corpse- actually, no wait, never mind, they don't leave corpses, I forgot about that. There we go, this sets up the perfect harvest. Harvest Moon. Never played Harvest Moon. Never owned, owned whatever system that's on. The only gaming systems I actually ever owned were PS2, PS3, uh, a Game Boy Advance. What was the, the thing? I kind of forget the name. Uh, never mind. It's not that many. Oh yeah, I own a Wii. And two DS's. One of them, the 3DS XL. But you all know I have that. I don't need this holy water, I don't think. I'd rather take the thousand gold. Let's camp. This gives him dodge, doesn't it? Yes. I like how he ha doesn't apply his own tactics until he uses it at camp. Makes no sense. Okay, I want to get some crits with the flagellant. Oh, what was the move I was thinking of that I needed? Weapons practice. Should have got that. Okay, um, we do not need to prevent the nighttime ambush. It's not that dangerous. I say that now. Ah, just as I expected. Yep. Here comes two million stress from this madman. Great, can't kill that debuff. 30 stress. Nice. Move you backwards three slots. Luckily, the flagellant has extra accuracy from the jester. 
Ah, oh, come on. You piece of asshole. Yes, you piece of asshole. Stop! Literally. Apart from this madman, they're all attacking the occultist. I kind of regret uh, not bringing the guard now. At least we're getting a lot of crits. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Okay, we gotta get that battle ballot up. Fuck you all! Stop it! The entire enemy team just decided, you know what? Fuck this occultist in particular. Stun, please. There we go. Come on. That's uh, that's not terrible, at least. It's far from the best, but it's not the worst. Okay, now I gotta cure this stress up. Get another heal in. You see, the, the non-crit was better than the crit. Slightly, but it's still better. Okay, I repost even though the fact is clear that, um, they're not gonna hit him, they're gonna hit him. Okay, attack the Jester. That's fine, as long as you don't focus the occultist. Oh, where did the crits go? They went to hell, obviously. <clears throat> Great, so I'm pretty sure that campfire just completely screwed us over. You're missing 10 health, you're missing only 9. It wasn't enough to fully heal anyway. Okay. Corpse destroyed. Now you can't hit the freaking occultist. That was actually possibly the best thing you could have done. I am not going to redeem. I am in fact going to save that face punch for the stupid necromancer. If we can start the necromancer fight with a face punch, then we are pretty much golden. Okay, he has an extra crit chance on melee skills. He still misses completely. Flagellant is on low health. <clears throat> Gotta make sure he doesn't get another turn. Okay, just buff up your accuracy so you don't miss. 31% crit chance, come on. Come on! I have shovels, don't I? Yes, I do. Good. Do not want to read the books. Books are terrible. <clears throat> Hopefully the flagellant goes first, opens with the face punch, and completely annihilates the necromancer off the face of the planet. Okay, he starts with the stress attack. I've got to move the jester into the third slot. Um, I can't debuff him, can I? Uh, I can, tech theoretically. I think I'd rather get the repost up. Battle battle so we can outspeed the bitch. How much damage does this deal? 8 to 14. It's not terrible, actually. And come on, get the crits. Like you always wanted. There we go, that's an extra 35 damage. Okay, I'm gonna move him forwards now. <clears throat> can still hit the occultist with the... I mean, can still hit the necromancer with the abyssal artillery. We hold as one and strike as one. Verily. Come on. Two. What's next? Zero bleed? can't bleed anyone in this party, I don't think, because everyone has too high bleed resist. Hey, 21. Nice. 
I'll have two nines. Nah, I've already said that joke many times. 21 bleed damage over time. Mm. Okay. Everyone dodge the stress attack except for the flagellant. Seems he wants to be stressed out as well. <clears throat> it's okay, we can bum rush the, uh... Oh, your buff's already ran out, never mind. We can still kind of bum rush the Necromancer. He's still going to be taking 25 damage and then that's going to wear off, but it's not terrible because the worst has passed already. <clears throat> A good Abyssal Artillery could do uh, wonders right now. That is not much damage. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, Abyssal Artillery, probably the best move here. I'm still kind of weirded out every time I see that, because I've seen that move like two times, you know, in all, probably. I haven't been spending much time in the ruins, as you may have noticed in this playthrough. Okay, he's taking 11 damage, so he's dead. <clears throat> okay, you are dead. Excellent. Not big surprise. Crit for 15. It's an affliction coming on. I know I'm just gonna stun him, but... Eh. <clears throat> I should really get something for my throat. Well, not throat, chest. But, yeah. Maybe I should have actually stress healed the man at arms because I'm probably going to be bringing him out the most out of all these party members. Because he needs the experience more than anyone else does. Nice crit. Nice crits, Chris. Nothing to say? For shame. Then it's treason, is it? Clumsy axe blade. What a clumsy move to use. Now I could kill him, but I want to stress heal so I don't have to spend as much money back in town. Out on the road or back in town. No, I'm not going to sing that entire song because I can't sing. I've already explained this. I'm the worst singer in the world. I'm pretty sure your grandmother's dead cat could sing better than me. Hey, everything's garbage, not taking any of it. Okay, fine, I'll take the blueprint. And have some food so you do not get afflicted with the disease of Algoro. Yes. Algoro. Algoro, what? That just sounds like I'm saying Al Gore. Mixed with something else. I don't know. So do we get something that increases our damage versus these, these damn bloodsuckers? That's actually going to be pretty good since we have no actual damage trinkets. And we get two diseases. Hooray! Wonderful! Lethargy. Natural swing. And you know what? Natural swing is actually pretty good at least. Glutomania. Why would a flagellant care about money? He's got too much money. Good. Free disease curing. I can forgive you, game, for giving me diseases. Okay. Oh, come on, you piece of shit, get out of here! I will never like this face anymore because of my Rindal. Oh, nice. You been eating your vegetables, Brickville? Yeah, you can pray a bit, I don't care what you get out of there. Like, nothing negative. Sure, there's calm, but what else is there? Thick blooded. Stress eater, zoophobia. Fear of beasts. I don't mean to alarm you, Hellmaster, but, uh, there seems to be one right here. I'm surprised that you're not freaking the fuck out. Uh, but that's none of my business. Next mission. Let's see what we have available. Maybe, probably just gonna do another level 5 to pass the time. Poison herb isn't bad, but I kinda don't want it into- I kinda don't want to go into the Warrens again. 
Ooh, lucky talisman. This actually is not a bad trinket at all. We haven't been using our grave roller much. She's just been staying around for a while. Then again, it's only extra accuracy with ranged skills, and um... Yeah, this sharpened letter opener still shows a strong case of do not use range skill based grave roller. I'll consider it. Maybe we'll just grab this Mario seal. I mean, I already have one, don't I? Yeah, I do. This kind of looks like a pair of lips to me. Anyone else? No? Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video where we do something. Yes, something. Very descript thing. Yeah, bye.